I'm Lindy, short and short-sighted. Too short to reach for the stars and too short-sighted to see beyond my shortcomings. Most days I find myself in a downward spiral. One, one day. It's a phrase I use to justify my procrastination. Three, mental, physical, spiritual, this tripartitism, total disunity, I know what to do. I know how to do it, but my hands and feet just never seem to cooperate. Five, when I was five, I almost died, and I've been trying to discover my purpose ever since. Seven, when I was seven, my self-esteem was shattered. It lay there in a desolate ruin, more like the aftermath of the Hiroshima bombing. Demeaning remarks fired from their mouths like missiles, and their actions only served as a consolidation of the atrocity. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Quite odd, isn't it? So twelve. Someone had to make it even. I met the one who speaks peace over storms, sets at ease the tormented heart, blots out my sin in whole, not in part, gives me a purpose and a destiny. You see, the reason the demeaning remarks had such an impact on me is because I allowed my value to hinge on people's approval. Instead of you, after creating men, declared, it is very good. So what gives you your worth? Is it your Snapchat filters or glamour glitters that give you your worth? Is it your robust physique or your slim fit too, too slim to fit God in it? See, we've been straying and wandering away, thinking we could have our own way, thinking we could find our worth in worthless things. You're worth more than 100 Facebook likes, more than 1,000 Twitter followers. See, you're so valuable that God had to trade his riches for rags so that instead of rags, you might have riches.